Hey everyone, welcome back. Eric here with KJ4YZI, continuing on the HF bands one at a time, but I have a video here on 60 meters. Now, 60 meters from what I see online is always, well, there's not a lot going on here, so let's move on to 40. Well, let's, why not experiment with it? Why not give it a try? If everybody says it's not interesting and it's something they don't do, no one will use it. So let's briefly talk about the 5.3 megahertz channels. Taking a look at the 60 meter band on the US Amateur Radio Band chart here from the ARRL, 60 looks a little bit different than the rest of them, right? And 60 is not actually a ham band, but a group of channels or channelized frequencies that we are secondary users of. Uh, government officials operate around 5.3 government agencies. So with that being said, when you look at this and study it, there's some technical specifications that you have to be aware of on here. There are power limits and such we'll talk about in a second. Now 60 meters, five channels, and the rules changed recently, upgrading a little more power and uh, adjusting you know, where we could operate. So around 5.3 megahertz, five different channels here. And you want to make sure that you are within 2.8 kilohertz wide of a signal or less. You know, 2.4, if you can adjust the, the bandwidth of your uh, HF transceiver, 2.4 should keep you well within the specs. Because you'll see here, they're channels. They don't run together. Now well, what you could do is you can program all five of these as the center of each of this here, 2.4 wide, the center of each one of the channels, program it, and you'd have five channels on your radio without having to remember where you're at. So basically, if I was on, let's call it channel five, you know, uh, I'd want to be right here. The dial would be set at 5.405. And if I was 2.8 or less wide, I would fit in this channel here. I wouldn't want to be at the end of this channel here and then broadcasting and, and uh, being too wide that I would overlap outside of that channel, you know, if you're looking at it just in this graph here. You don't want to overmodulate your signal and run wide and, and, and be splattering outside because in between here you may be affecting an, another individual or an agency, a government agency, and if you hear any other traffic on here that doesn't sound amateur radio, you're supposed to cease communications immediately and not to uh, interfere with those. So they gave us these channels to use, but you got to comply. You know, there's some stuff here. Uh, you have to be a general, advanced, or extra. Your power is rated or limited to 100 watts PEP relative to a half-wave dipole. All right. So with 60 meters probably not being a very common band, you're not going to see too many antennas that include, hey, it comes with 60 meters. I'm sure there's ones out there, but your best bet is to be making one for this if you wanted to try it. Um, so with that said, if you were using some kind of antenna that had gain, well, you would, let's say it had 3 dB of gain per the manufacturer, you would have your radio set at 50 watts. With 3 dB gain, you'd be at 100 watts ERP out of the antenna. So you don't want to have 100 watts going into an antenna with 3 dB gain because then you'd be outside of the 100 watt PEP limit. So, you know, very important to keep in mind what happens here in these channels one uh, user at a time so if you hear somebody on channel 5 here which they're not ch named channel 5 I'm looking at them like this if you have somebody on channel 5 you want to start moving down let's try channel 4 let's try channel 3 and see where you can find a clear frequency so uh, it, it seems that I have saw some stuff online that Channel 5 seems to be the de facto DX station. So if somebody's on there calling for DX and their state side and your state side, don't answer them. Move on to the next, you know, lower channel. Or if you're on CW and you start here on the bottom and you see someone's calling CQ on here, you can answer him. Or if there's two people engaged in a conversation, move up and find the free frequency. But in no situation or form at all should you be interfering with any stations on here uh, whether they're between the channels or if there's an amateur operator on here, uh, you're not going to uh, try to be a pileup and jump on the two people talking. That's just the way this band is. Uh, but, you know, hey, it, it propagates 
like 80 and 40 does, typically uh, at nighttime. You can have DX on it. You can uh, u- utilize that for another band. Uh, upper side band only. Digital modes are okay. CW, RIDI, PSK, um, upper side phone, Pactor 3. Now, again, w- let's say you're on PSK and your dial is at the center of this frequency. You want to make sure that in your software you're not, uh, you know, you're at the center of the waterfall so that you're on the center of the frequency without being tuned to the, you know, up here to the, uh, the upper end of channel 3 here and then on the upper end of the waterfall now you're going to be splattering or or uh, you know transmitting your your bandwidth is going to be outside of that channel so you want to just make sure that you read on the technical specifications of this frequency and utilize it as you may uh, given that we are secondary operators so you're more or less going to be making a dipole because not a lot of antennas come with 60 meters so to invest in a 60 meter antenna is probably not going to be worth it if there's not that much activity but you may want to start a revelation so anyways let's see how long a dipole would be at somewhere around the middle of the frequency here for 60 meters would be 87 point call it 87 and a half feet end to end for a half wave dipole and each leg of the dipole would be roughly 40 43 feet 44 feet and uh, that's that's quite an quite an antenna to string up uh, not too big. I mean, I, I've had a 80 meter off center fed, which was 130 something feet. But uh, you know, can you fit an 87 foot dipole on your property to get on 60 meters? That's about how long it would be. So while I can't tell you what you can expect really from 60 nowadays, I, I don't really operate 60 meters. I did have to say at one point that I've worked 60 meters, so I arranged a schedule with somebody few years ago and said, hey, uh, let's get on 60, make contact to say I did. I had to tune up the antenna and, and get it adjusted just right on my radio. But, you know, if everybody says, well, 60, there's nothing there. I, I stick with 40. I've never done 60. If everybody follows suit with that, no one's ever going to use it. Why not experiment with it? It's allocated to us for us as secondary operators. We do have a privilege there. Why not give it a shot? Try it. It may turn out to be one of your favorite bands. You may have the best DX in the world in that band. So one thing to consider is not all radios or antennas include 60. For instance, I had the 817 uh, FT817 QRP rig. Now, I was the non-ND model, so I did not have 60 meters. And one of the only dis- uh, choices or uh, upgrades for the ND model, not only the output final section they they up you know upgraded on the ND model but they added 60 meters so if you had to determine do I want the 817 or do I want the 817 ND maybe you're buying it used and you say which one would I want to go for do I want to spend the extra money to get a new one just for 60 meters I'll leave that to you I'm not sure if that's really a wise decision especially with 5 watts to use on 60 meters to to spend extra money on it same thing for an antenna It's just as easy to build a simple dipole just for 60 because you may use it one time and never use it again. So, you know, uh, the 450 I have, I did an upgrade to it a while back and I have 60 meters, but the new uh, FT450D model includes the new 60 meters. They recently, you know, uh, a few years ago in 2012, I think it was, upgraded, you know, and gave us more power and and, uh, added modes on that band. So the radios now... Most of them follow suit, but sometimes they don't include 60 meters. So, you know, give it a shot. Check it out. I hope if you leave a comment below, let me know if you learned something about the 60 meter band. Because I've seen a few things where people said, well, we can use it here, but never done anything. Move on. Uh, If you're willing to try it and you want to set up a schedule and I can load up my antenna, please leave a comment below or send me an email. Maybe we'll do it. 73, thanks for watching. Next video coming up, 80 slash 75 meters. From KJ4, YZI.